Yo guys, so I know it's been a minute since the last video, but I have made a lot of progression on this count since the live stream and everything. Um, I'm now 124. As you guys can see, I have the free 2x running right now from the guy. And you can tell I have love fruit now. I pulled this during my daily task to pull the quest for the one fruit. And I actually ended up pulling another one, I believe. Yeah, I pulled another one on this count, doing the task again. So yeah, I got really lucky there. Uh, I did end up getting a lot of gems from doing my daily task, my weekly task, and everything. So I'm now up to... My mastery is maxed. And I now have Naruto as well. I pulled him. As you guys can see, I got him to level 116. Naruto is the best immortal you can get out of the heroes. So usually when you get him, you're pretty much fine. You don't really have to pull anymore unless you really want other ones. So I pulled Naruto, and then afterwards I started pulling for the love fruit. Luckily I got it out of, you know, my daily task, so I didn't really have to worry about it. And we actually got our cosmetics going pretty good here. We're only missing one piece, which we will be able to get in seven more levels so yeah that's how this has been going we are now up to normal on the 7c and once i hit graveyard hell i'm going to do a carry stream where i will carry a bunch of you through the beginner or whatever dungeon world one or world two i'll just you know send a private server invite and you know just take you guys through about three or four times each person I'll probably do a wheel again, just like I did before. And yeah, that's the progression on this account so far. I know it's been a little since I've made a video on it. And I have progressed a lot. I think the last video I made, I was level 81. We broke through some skills. And our equipment is now at a decent point. Where, you know, I don't have to worry about it for a bit. But now it's going to start getting a little hard because we are now in 7C. And this is where a lot of people start to struggle because the boss here ends up one-shotting people at the very end. It has a final attack. And this is one of those bosses that you actually have to play manually to beat. But once you get the defense back, you should be fine. But until then... We're going to have to manually grind hell once we get to that point. And it doesn't have to be mysterious. It can be legendary, of course. But I'm just going to go over a few things as a reminder for you guys progressing. First thing, you would like to pull Naruto. Obviously, it is a very important pull. 10% XP is a very big increase. If you can, get the cosmetic with the level XP, this is another big boost, even though it might not seem like a lot, like 20%, like that's not much, right? 20% is a lot in the long run if you consider how many runs you're doing. Stacking that with VIP, that's another 20%. That's 40% right there. And then on top of that, having, you know, Naruto, that's 50%. I've been extremely busy lately and I wanted to just address some things um i am going to try to pump out as many videos as i can when i have the time but since i became moderator in the discord it's a little difficult because i have to be in there a lot focusing on the discord since it has about ninety thousand members and obviously i work full time but yeah let's jump into some uh daily tasks and everything so we're actually about to do our first 7c of normal um I'll be able to show you guys why this boss is way more difficult than the other areas. This is actually the hardest dungeon in the game when it comes to progressing. Because I know a lot of people get to this point and they start complaining about how strong the boss is. I don't know if he got nerfed. I'm pretty sure he didn't though. So if we... It's just that skill alone and then that right there. As you guys can see, I go to negative one mil. This is why for this boss, you actually have to play actively. I'm going to show you guys how to beat it right now. So if you have love, 
or any ranged fruit, you can kind of keep your distance here and just attack. Honestly, by this point, you should have love. If you don't, you are you might be doing something wrong. Because you should have gotten enough for even pity by now, just from playing the game. But yeah, as you guys can see, you just keeping your distance automatically makes it where he can't do anything. Because this is a pretty close-up boss. But yeah, this is pretty much the only way to beat him without an issue. Because I know a lot of people have been asking me how you beat this guy without an issue. The answer really is all you can do is really play manually when you get to that point. So I like to AFK all the way up to the boss and then if I'm at that point where I still don't have my legendary back, I just play it actively. But yeah, that's about it for him. There's nothing really much more you can do. So daily reset did just hit. Also guys, I had an interaction with one of you in the public server. I've had a few with some of you, but I really do appreciate the interactions, and I do appreciate all the support you guys give me. It is really nice to see you guys come and talk to me when I do appear in your servers. I just want you guys to know I really appreciate it. But let's take a look at our dailies and weeklies. So we have to do teamwork, past dungeon teamwork 20 defense, and total waves of 100 and 120. I would normally not get my second account for this, but I'm playing on my other friend's account and I don't want to ask for a carry in the Discord right now because I have to do that weekly on my main anyways, so we're going to run it on him. There's really no point not to. So we're going to bring this account over right now. So we're finishing up the first one right now. <clears throat> See if we get anything. Nope. Unfortunate. Back out. I think we have to do 20 more waves here. So we'll just run through these last 20 quick. <clears throat> we are done now. So yeah, pretty easy when I'm using my other account. People would consider it cheating, but like I said, you guys can get carries all the time. It's not that difficult to get a carry from the Discord. I don't really like using my other account for much stuff, but since I had the same weekly, I don't see a reason not to take my other account. But yeah, um, we did end up getting the 400 times summon, so I don't know if I'm going to bother doing it this week. But yeah, uh, we could summon the one fruit real quick, see if we get anything. Let's see what we get. Imagine I pull the dark. Oh, no, that's not it. Just need to defeat 300 enemies and all that, so we just need to do some AFKing. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about the actual weekly tasks on this account this week. It's just not worth it. We're just joining random people now in public servers and just trying to get the teamwork clears. I'll update you guys when I'm getting close to finishing it and then we might do a few po uh, fruit pulls to try to get uh, the soul leveling fruit. So we just now finished the last quest. It took a bit to get it done but at least we finally got the gems for it. That now puts us at 8.59k so we got about 20 rolls for fruits and hopefully we get something. We also have a few uh, rewards to claim here. The solo leveling fruit currently is in the fruit roll, so we're just gonna have to leave it as it is. I'm gonna save the gem for the live stream and then we'll roll the last fruits. That's gonna be it for this video guys. Um, I do appreciate all the support and I hope you guys have a nice day.